Thou dost chastise with mercy and art fervent in compassion. Thou dost see me weeping and dost run to meet me, like the father calling back the prodigal son. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity beyond all being, worship in unity. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in thy compassion grant me tears of compunction. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. <coughs> o Theotokos, the hope and protection of those who sing thy praises, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and, pure lady, accept me in repentance.
his undefiled virgin, alone worthy of all praise, intercede fervently for our salvation. Steps 
by which thou canst mount upwards. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Thou hast reached my mold, Esau, the hated, O my soul, and given the birthright of thy first beauty to the supplanter. Thou hast lost thy father's blessing and in my, thy wretchedness. Then twice supplanted in action and in knowledge, therefore repent now. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Esau was called Edom because of his raging love for women, burning always with unrestrained desires and stained with sensual pleasure. He was named Edom, which means the red heat of a soul that loves sin. Have mercy on me, O Lord, Thou hast heard, O my soul, of Job, justify them in dunghill, but thou hast not imitated his fortitude in all thine experience and trials and temptation. Thou hast not kept firmly to thy purpose, but hast proved inconstant. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Once he sat upon the throne, but now Job sits on a dunghill, naked and covered with sores. Once he was blessed with many children and admired by all, but suddenly he is childless and homeless. Yet he counted the downhill as a palace, and his sores he counted as pearls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Undivided in essence and confused in persons, I confess thee as God, triune deity, one in kingship and throne, and to thee I raise the great Christ holy hymn, that is so high. No endure and no to ages, no ages, no Thou givest birth and art a virgin, and in both thou remainest by nature and violet. He who is born makes new the laws of nature, and the womb brings forth without prevail. When God so wills, the natural order is overcome, for he does whatever he wishes. to 
thyself, my soul, the rod of Moses, striking the sea, and making hard the deep sea by the sign of the holy cross. Through the cross thou can also do great things. Have mercy on me, O Lord. God, fire that was blameless and undefiled, but often in Venus brought to him, as thou hast done my soul, strange fire and a polluted life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify thee, O Trinity, the one God, holy, holy, holy art thou, Father, Son, and Spirit, simple essence and unity worshiped forever. Now and ever and unto me. Has God, the creator of the ages, taken human flesh, uniting to himself the nature of man.
God did not do more than just touch it. But the wrath of God smote him, O my soul, flee from his presumption, and respect with reverence the things of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast heard of Absalom, and how he loved, rebelled against nature. Thou knowest of the unholy deeds by which he defiled his father David's bed. Yet thou hast followed him in his passionate and sensual <coughs> desires. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thy free dignity, O my soul, thou hast subjected to thy body, but thou hast found has found in the enemy and has agreed to all his counsels. But Christ himself has brought them to nothing and saved thee from them all. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Solomon the Wonderful, who was full of the grace of wisdom, once did evil in the sight of heaven and turned away from God. Thou hast become like him, O my soul, by thine accursed life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Carried away by sensual passions, he defiled himself. Alas, the lover of wisdom became a, lo became a lover of harlots, and a stranger to God. And thou, my soul, hast in mind imitated him through thy shameful desires. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. O my soul, thou hast rivaled Rechabon, who paid no attention to his father's counselor, and Jeroboam, the evil servant, the renegade of old, but flee from their example and cry to God, I have sinned, take pity on me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Divided Trinity, a whole inconsubstantial unity, thou art praised as light and lights, one holy and three holy, sing of my soul, and glorify life and lights, the God of all, now and ever and unto ages of ages. We praise thee, we bless thee, we venerate thee, O Mother of God, for thou hast given birth to one of the undivided Trinity, thy Son and God, and thou hast opened the heavenly places to us on earth. Jonah 
athletic to Tarshish, foreseeing the conversion of the men of Nineveh. For as a prophet, he knew the loving kindness of God, but he was jealous that his prophecy should not be proved false. Have mercy on me, O Lord. of the wild beast in the lion's den. And thou knowest how the children with Azarias quenched through their faith the flames of the fiery furnace. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. All the names of the Old Testament have I set before thee, my soul, as an example to imitate. Imitate the holy acts of the righteous and me from the sins of the wicked. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, without beginning, glory, eternal Son, and loving Comforter, the Spirit of Righteousness, begetter of the Word of God, Word of the Eternal Father, Spirit living and creative. O Trinity and Unity, have mercy on me. Now and ever and unto ages Still, O undefiled virgin, the spiritual robe of Emmanuel, his flesh was woven in thy womb. Therefore, we honor thee as Theotokos in very truth. <laughs>
turning the water into wine and revealing his first miracle to bring thee, my soul, to a change of life. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Christ gave strength to the paralyzed man, and he took up his bed. He raised from the dead the young man, the son of the widow, and the centurion servant. He appeared to the woman of Samaria and spoke to thee, my soul, to worship of worship in spirit. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. By the touch of the hem of his garment, the Lord healed the woman with an issue of blood. He cleansed lepers and gave sight to the blind and made the lame walk upright. He cured by his word the deaf and the dumb, and the woman bowed to the ground to bring the wretched soul to salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us glorify the Father, let us exalt the Son, and with faith, let us worship the Spirit of God, undivided trinity and unity in essence. Let us adore life and lights, life and lives, giving light and life to the ends of the earth. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Watch over your church, all pure mother of God, for by thee the church reigns in faith, <coughs> by thee the church is made strong, by thee she is victorious, putting to flight every temptation, despoiling the enemy, and ruling her subjects. Holy Father, I give praise to God for us. Venerable Andrew, Father thrice blessed, Shepherd of Crete, Cease not to offer prayer for us who sing thy praises, that we may be delivered from all dangers and distress, from corruption and sin, who honor thy memory with faith. Because of wrath, I am worn out because of my enemies. 
Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication, the Lord has accepted my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them be turned back and quickly be put to shame. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you turn away your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart day and night? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Look down and hear me, O Lord, my God, and enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemy save me and have prevailed against me. Let those who trouble me rejoice if I am shaken. But I have hoped in your mercy, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has dealt bountifully with me, and I will give the name of the Lord most high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul, O my God, and you have I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Indeed, let none who wait on you be ashamed. Let those who are lawless about the cause be put to shame. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are my God and my Savior, for you I have waited all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, which are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions committed unknowingly. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Who would not write it, the Lord, therefore he will send the law for sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in justice, and the humble he will teach his ways. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as seek his covenant and his testimony. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? For him shall he set the law in the way that he has chosen. His soul shall abide in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The sorrows of my heart are multiplied, bring me out of my distress. Behold my humility and my travail, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they have hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me, lest me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope in you. The innocent and the upright have joined themselves to me, for I have waited for you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. In you, O Lord, I have hoped, so let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness and rescue me. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my God and defender, my house of refuge, to save me. For you are my strength and my refuge. For your name's sake, you will guide me and nourish me. You will bring me out of the net which they have hidden for me. For you are my defender, O Lord. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. You have hated those who vainly preserve vanity. I have hoped in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy. For you have seen my humility. You have saved my soul from adversities. You have not delivered me into the hands of enemies. You have set free my feet in spacious places. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. My eye is troubled with wrath, and also my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength is weakened because of poverty, and my bones are troubled. Among all my enemies I have become an abomination, to my acquaintances an object of fear. Those who see me flee far from me. I have been forgotten like one who is dead, and have become like a broken vessel. I have heard the reproaches of many who live round about me. When they gathered together against me, they schemed to take away my life. But I have hoped in you, O Lord. I said, You are my God. My faith is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who persecute me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me through your mercies. Let me not be put to shame, O Lord, for I have called to you. Let the ungodly be put to shame, and let them be brought down to Hades. Let lying lips be silent, that speak iniquity against the righteous out of arrogance and contempt. How great is the multitude of your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have wrought for those who hope in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret places of your presence from the disturbance of men. You will shelter them in the tabernacle from the strife of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he has made his mercy wondrous in a fortified city. 
But as for me, I said in my ecstasy, I am cast away from before your eyes. Therefore you heard the voice of my prayer when I called to you. O love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord requires truth. He abundantly requites those who act proudly. Take courage and let your heart be strengthened, all you who hope in the Lord. He who dwells under the protection of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He will say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God, and him I will hope. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from troubling words. With his feathers he will overshadow you, and under his wings you will have hope. As with a shield his truth will encompass you. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor that which walks in darkness, neither the pestilence nor the demon at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall look and see the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my hope, you have established the most high as your habitation. Evil shall not come near you, no scourge come near your dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. He will tread upon the viper and the adder, the lion and the dragon he will trample underfoot. Because he has set his hope upon me, I will deliver him. I will protect him, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and glorify him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God is with us, understand you nations and submit yourselves.
sin and Savior and save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The day is past. I glorify you, O Master. Grant me, I entreat you, that the evening and the night be without temptations, O Savior, and save me. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. The day is past. I sing your praises, O Holy One. Grant me, I entreat you, that the evening and the night be free from slander, O Savior, and save me. The bodiless nature of the cherubim glorify you with ceaseless hymns. The seraphim, six-winged beings, highly extol you with voices unceasing. All the angelic armies laud you with thrice holy hymns. For you, being the Father before all things, have with you the Son, who also is without beginning, and the Spirit equal in honor, bearing life, thus revealing the Trinity undivided. O most holy Virgin, Mother of God, who have witnesses and servants of the Word, together with all the ranks of prophets and martyrs, who have life immortal, diligently pray for us all, for all of us are in misfortune, that being delivered from the deceptions of the evil one, we may cry out the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 thrice holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate in the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, come us from our sins, and come to pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. You know, O Lord, the vigilance of my unseen enemies, and having created me, you know the frailty of my cursed flesh. Therefore, I commit my soul into your hands. Cover me with the wings of your goodness, that I not die in my sleep, and illumine my spiritual eyes, that I may delight in your divine words. Raise me up at the acceptable time, that I may glorify you as the only good one and lover of mankind. Look upon me and hear me, O Lord my God. How fearsome is your judgment, O Lord, when the angels stand about and men are led before you and the books are opened. Deeds are scrutinized and thoughts searched out. What will be the judgment of me who have conceived in sins? Who will extinguish the flame for me? Who will enlighten the darkness for me? If you, O Lord, do not have mercy on me as the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant me tears, O Lord, as once to the woman caught in sin. And vouchsafe me to wash your feet, which has freed me from the paths of deception, that I may bring as fragrant myrrh to you, if your life fashioned in repentance, and that I might hear your voice, for which I long, your faith has saved you, go in peace. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. In you, having hope that will not be put to shame, O Theotokos, I am saved. Having acquired your protection, O most pure one, I am not afraid. I will pursue my enemies and defeat them, clothed as with armor, in your protection alone and your all-powerful help. And beseeching you, I cry out to you, O Sovereign Lady, by your prayers, save me and raise me up from gloomy sleep, that I may glorify you by the power of the Son of God, who was incarnate of you. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord of 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 mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Mother, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Lord, Lord, who deliver us, delivers us from all the arrows that fly by day, deliver us from all the things that walk in darkness. Accept our evening sacrifice, the lifting up of our hands. Grant that we may pass through the course of the night without blemish, untempted by evil things. Deliver us from every disturbance and spiritual restlessness which comes from the devil. Grant compunction to our souls that we may pay close attention to our thoughts concerning the strict searching out of your fearful and righteous judgment. Nail our flesh to the fear of you and mortify our earthly numbers, that we may be illumined in the quietness of sleep with the vision of your judgments. Remove from us every unseemly dream and carnal harm. Raise us up at the time of prayer, strengthened in the faith, and advancing in your commandments through the graciousness and goodwill of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto your ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King, and come, let us worship you, all down before Christ, our King, and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, God, of my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. 
where I thought my transgression and my sin is under before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your sentence and vindicated when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved truth to him in secret things of your wisdom, you have revealed to me. Sprinkle me with this, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to your joy gladness, my humble bones shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your governing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With whole burnt offerings, you will not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to Zion, and your good pleasure, and the walls of Jerusalem will be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings, then they shall offer you ones on your altar. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Turn not your face away from me in the day of trouble, and find your ear to me. In the day when I call upon you, answer me speedily. For my days have vanished like smoke, and my bones have dried up like wood. I was smitten like grass, and my heart withered away, so that I forgot to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cleave to my flesh. I have become like a pelican of the wilderness. I became like a night owl in the ruins. I have lain awake. I have become like a sparrow sitting alone upon the housetop. My enemies have reproached me all the day long. Those who once praised me swear an oath against me. I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping because of your indignation and wrath. For you have lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a declining shadow, and like grass I am withered. But you, O Lord, abide forever, and your remembrance is from generation to generation. You will arise and have mercy on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. For your servants have taken pleasure in her stones, and will have pity on her dust, and the nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion, and he shall appear in his glory. He has regarded the prayer of the humble, and has not despised their supplication. Let this be written for another generation, that the people who will be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary from heaven, and the Lord looked down upon the earth to hear the groaning of those bound in iron feathers, to loose the sons of the slain, to declare in Zion the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people will gather together with their kings to serve the Lord. Man asked of the Lord when he walked in his strength, Let me know the fewness of my days. Do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are from generation to generation. In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure, and all like a garment shall grow old, and like a cloak you will make them fade, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The sons of your servants will abide, and their posterity will be led for eternity in the straight path. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of their righteous posterity, who made heaven and earth with all their order, who shackled the sea by your word of command, who confined the deep and sealed it with your terrible and glorious name, <laughs> at whom all things shudder and tremble before your power, for your glorious splendor cannot be borne, and the wrath of your threat to sinners is irresistible. Yet immeasurable and unsearchable is your Father's mercy, for you are the Lord Most High, of great compassion, long-suffering, and very merciful, who repents over the evils of men. You, O Lord, according to your great goodness, have promised repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you, and in the multitude of your mercies you have appointed repentance for sinners that they may be saved. Therefore, O Lord God of the righteous, you have not appointed repentance for the righteous, for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, who did not sin against you, but you have appointed repentance for me who am a sinner. For the sins I have committed are more in number than the sand of the sea. My transgression are multiplied. O Lord, they are multiplied. I am unworthy to look up and see the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. I am weighed down with many an iron fetters, so that I am rejected because of my sins, and I have no relief. For I have provoked your wrath, provoked your wrath and have done what is evil in your sight, setting up abominations and multiplying offenses. 
And now I bend the knee of my heart, beseeching you for your kindness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my transgressions. I earnestly beseech you, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me. Do not destroy me with my transgressions. Do not be angry with me forever or lay up evil for me. Do not condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will manifest your goodness. For I'm worthy as I am, you will save me in your great mercy, and I will praise you continually all the days of my life. For all the hosts of heaven sing your praise, and yours is the glory forever. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, cast your pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for laying aside all excuse we sinners offer to you as to our master this supplication. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, have mercy on us, for in you we have put our trust. Do not be angry with us, nor remember our iniquities, but look down on us even now, as you are compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies, for you are our God, and we are your people. We are all the works of your hands, and we call on your name, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O blessed Theotokos, open the doors of compassion to us, whose hope is in you, that we may not perish, but be delivered from adversity through you, for you are the salvation of the Christian people. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
For you only are holy, you only are the Lord, O Jesus Christ, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every night shall I give thanks to you and praise your name forever and ever. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. I said, Lord, be merciful to me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I plead to you, I need to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we shall see light. O oh, continue your loving kindness to those who know you. I am safe, O Lord, that we may be kept this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despise not the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due a song, to you is due glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, and ask for pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Oh, Lord, have mercy with us. 
Through your most glorious birth giving, you united God to the Word, to mankind, and joined our fallen nature, human nature, to the heavenly. Your unveiling home to the hopeless, the aid to be in battle, and ready help to those who run to you, and a refuge for all Christians. Do not turn away from me, a sinner, who am defiled, even though I have made myself totally useless through impure thoughts, words, and deeds, and through my slothful understanding have become a slave to the sweet things of this life. As mother of the God who loves mankind, have pity on me, a sinner, and that same love for mankind. Receive the prayer I offer to you with the foul lips and pray to your Son, our Master and Lord, using your eternal boldness. May he open even to me the goodness of his deep love for mankind. May he overlook my countless tr transgressions. Turn me to repentance and make me an experienced accomplisher of his commandments. Stand by me always in your mercy, compassion, and love of good. Be my firm intercessor and help in this life, driving off the assaults of the enemies and guiding me to salvation. Guard my wretched soul at the time of my death, driving away the dark forms of the evil demons. Deliver me from eternal torments at the day of the, of the awesome judgment and reveal me as an heir of thy inexpressible glory of your Son and our God. May I receive this, my sovereign lady, most holy Theotokos, through your help and intercession, through the grace and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom belongs all glory, honor, and worship, with his Father, who is without beginning, and his most holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As we prepare for sleep, O Master, grant rest to our bodies and souls. Keep us from the dark sleep of sin and from every dark and passionate pleasure of the night. Still the impulses of the passions and put out the flaming arrows which the evil one looses deceitfully against us. Still the rebellions of the flesh and put to sleep our earthly and material reasoning. O God, grant us an alert mind, chaste thoughts, a sober heart, and a light sleep free from every satanic dream. Raise us at the time of prayer, confirming your commandments, the memory of your judgments firmly in us. Grant that we may glorify you throughout this night, singing, blessing, and glorifying your most honorable and majestic name, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The most glorious ever virgin, Mother of Christ our God, take our prayers to your Son and our God, that through you he may save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge is the Son, my protection is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. Glory to you.
bless you, holy mothers and sisters, and forgive the sins that I said I have committed this day. Indeed, word and thought, and through all my senses. May God forgive you and have mercy on me, holy mother. Bless me, holy mother, and forgive all the sins I have committed this day. Indeed, word and thought, and through all my senses, and pray for me, and sin, and God give you his grace. Have mercy on me. 